audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. Well, for the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about manhood. Those things that separate a godly man from a worldly man. And when we talk about masculine manhood, a model on Jesus Christ. If we're summarizing the sorts of things we've been talking about, Camille, how do you see the big picture painting of what a man looks like? Neil, there's a great passage of Scripture found in 1 John. 1 John 2 and verse 14. It's a verse that's meant a lot to me, and I trust it will bless you and all that are listening. But it says, I've written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. I think that's a great verse. It's talking to young men. But think about it. It doesn't actually give an age range, because frankly, what is young anymore and what is old anymore? It can be relative. Sometimes you can be in your 20s and be really old, and you can be in your 70s and really young. Whatever the case may be, to the young, and let's say the young at heart. Speaking of the young men, it's talking about three qualities. And the first one is, I write to you, young men, because you are strong. Now, when you're about, what, 21, 22, allegedly that's the peak of your masculine strength physically, And then after that, apparently it goes downhill, right? But when you are strong, however that is, both internally as well as externally, as long as you stay strong, it's almost like you're ever young. And that's a good goal to have. When your mindset is ever young, when your body is ever young, when your spirit, most importantly, is ever young, because you're strong in God. It's amazing what you can do, because when you're weak, you're limited, And in many cases, when you're weak, you're bound. But when you're strong, you're free. Do we need to maintain that strength or exercise to remain strong throughout our lives? I believe in a holistic approach. I think it's important to live sensibly, to eat a balanced diet. There's times you can have junk food and it won't hurt you. Even the, the gurus of fitness say you can have a cheat day, right? And I believe in exercise and all that. But this only profits the physical body. We also need good mental habits to be strong. We spiritually need the spiritual disciplines that we spoke about in another segment to be strong on the inside. Do these things in a balanced way, and it will keep you running the long distance. At the same time, can I also remind us from that verse, it says you are strong, God's word lives in you. Don't just know the word in your head. Have it stowed in your heart. When the word of God is in your heart, you will not sin against God. And being able to overcome sin is part of the strength and overcoming power that is necessary. Finally, it says in 1 John 2, 14, you have overcome the wicked one. And I dare say that we've overcome the wicked one because of the first two traits. We're strong in God. God's word is in our hearts. Oh, let's add being filled with the Holy Spirit as well. Let's add resisting the devil and he shall flee from us. James 4 and verse 7. Let's add the power of the cross and all the rest of it. When that happens, you're young, you're strong, you're free, you will overcome the wicked one, and he will no longer be a sword of Damocles over your head. He will be under your feet. Faith and the Future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. For more from Dr. Majdali, including books and DVDs on prophecy, Bible commentaries, plus today's and other episodes of Faith and the Future, go to vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.